please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning on Tangent. Today is Thursday, November 28th. I'm Max Williams. And I'm Will Roby. And you're watching Tangent today. The In the Know team was qualified for the Elite Eight in the WOSU ITK tournament. They played against Dublin Scioto and won 500 to 335. That game will be broadcasted on PBS on the evening of January 9th, 2019. They play again January 22nd. And congratulations to Karan Agarwal, Varun Gopal, Tyler McCaster, sophomores Abby Ross and Colin Elbert, and freshman Parav Krishnamurthy. And now over to Will and Steph for 30 Second News. I'm Will McGraw. And I'm Steph Frank. And this is your 30 Second News. On November 27th, politicians and top officials from nine different countries questioned a Facebook executive over fake news issues, according to NBC. In London, Richard Allen, Vice President of Policy Solutions, was grilled in a hearing CEO Mark Zuckerberg refused to attend. A chair was purposefully left empty with a place card reading his name sitting in front. The event was titled as the first Grand Committee on Disinformation organized by Damien Collins, a British lawmaker who works with misinformation and data usage. He stated to NBC he was deeply disappointed by Zuckerberg's decision to ignore summons from so many nations. The United States military confirmed three U.S. service members were killed while three others were wounded in the eastern Afghanistan province of Ghazni. It was reported an improvised explosive device exploded on the side of the road on Tuesday near the city of Ghazni. In addition, one U.S. contractor was also wounded. The Taliban is the apparent organizer of the attack as they hold strong influence in the Ghazni region and attempted to take over the capital city in August. The soldiers had been there for three months after being sent to prevent the city from falling to the Taliban. In 2018 so far, 12 American soldiers have now died in combat in Afghanistan along with four other coalition soldiers, according to the New York Times. This has been your 30 second news and now for a commercial break. Council is hosting Blessings and Backpacks and Holiday Help for Delaware people in need. Blessings and Backpacks is taking place through December 3rd through the 7th where we collect canned goods, snack items, and breakfast foods. Holiday Help is also taking place from December 3rd through the 7th where we're collecting household items and toiletries. We will be collecting these items before school at the senior entrance and in front of the display case. A complete list of items will be on Schoology. If you have any questions, please contact Ms. Shoemaker or Mrs. Absher. Hi all and Tangi, welcome back from Thanksgiving break. So December is the time for giving. We have a lot of new, really exciting drives coming up. The first one is our coat drive that goes on now until December 6th. We're gonna be taking coats, gloves, hats, and scarves, and they need to be new as requested by PIN. You can drop those items off in the main office or in Ms. Williams' room in room 2405, and you don't have to be in service club to donate. If you have any further questions, just check the Schoology page. And we're back. There will be a mandatory HOSA meeting after school Friday, November 30th in Mrs. Sweeney's room at 2.45. If you haven't yet paid your $40 dues, please bring the remaining amount to the meeting. A HOSA holiday service opportunity will take place December 3rd at 3.30 at Worthington Christian Village Retirement Community. All members are invited to attend and information will be discussed at the meeting. Have a great day on Tangy. We'll see you back here tomorrow.